Hey, what's up guys, Johnny here. In today's video, we take a look at the upcoming May update in Shadowgun Legends. We're on the Reddit right now. There's a thread called Mad Stream Recap. Big shout out to Kiddo for taking the time to posting these threads. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at what's been done this week and what we can expect for the next update. All right, so let's go guys. First of all, what's been done on the 0.4.5 update. Fix horizontal spawn. Some guys got this bug. I never had it myself, but I've seen some screenshots on the Facebook group and it looked pretty weird. They thought they fixed it earlier, but some people were still experiencing it. Face grenade not throwing never happened to me also. Uh, no longer invincible revives in PvP. Now that is pretty big because a lot of people were complaining about that because people were actually abusing it. Uh, that was pretty ugly apparently. I don't play much Ascendancy but uh, I heard a lot about it. Managed to help lower ping issues. They are working very hard on ping issues. They told us again today in the mad stream about that. And the hub bar bug fix. I did not experience that bug lately, but I remember getting kicked a lot when I entered the bar. Alright, so when they uh, released that update earlier this week, I think it's yesterday, right? Well, two days ago if you're watching the video on Saturday. <clears throat> they said quality of life update, right? Like it's not an update, it's like a patch if you will, right? So today on stream, I'm recording this video on Friday night. We played almost three hours non-stop of farming dungeon after dungeon after dungeon. And I said at the end of the stream, zero times we were getting connecting to mainframe in the whole three hours of non-stop farming. And zero times we got uh, leader disconnected. So that was very nice because it was still happening the day before. But we had one leader disconnected and one connecting to mainframe on the previous stream Wednesday. So I today was feeling very, very smooth, honestly. Great job. I don't know if you guys experience any problems and I don't know if you guys feel it's better or worse. But here in uh, North America East servers, it was very good today. So fingers crossed, hopefully it will stay like that. Now on the 0.5 update, uh, let's go and check the details, but I don't think we can expect much more than what we're gonna see today because on the stream today they said the update is done and all they're doing right now is uh, testing it, right? So I don't think we can expect more content than what was announced in the previous streams. <clears throat> so let's go for the 0.5 update. It should be arriving at the end of the month, okay? So it's mid-May right now. I know they said mid-May, a lot of people still asking every day, when's the update, when's the update, when's the update, it's crazy. And nobody could answer, we just said soon, mid-May, like just, just wait, it's gonna happen, right? Some people are very impatient and I can understand, but I'm still enjoying this game a lot. It will be delayed and I said already last week, I didn't expect, I'm not surprised and I'm not mad at all. But I didn't expect it to drop this week, not even next week. I said, at worst, we could have an anniversary event next week, maybe. And then the update will drop. That's what I've been saying for at least a week. All right, grind mission with friends that we knew already, so it's not new. Two new dungeons. They said it uh, at least a week ago that we were going to get two dungeons, but not the gold arena yet. So two new dungeons. They already announced the names. And they say new bosses today on stream and they say it's pretty scary. So I cannot wait to see that. New cosmetics, I will show them again, but they uh, did a sneak peek of the new cosmetic today and last week. So let's take a quick look. All right, so that was the first screenshot they shared last week. I, th I did think it was looking pretty good. There was a lot of questions after that, speculations. What the hell is that? Why is it? covering the legs like usually cosmetics are belt front uh head and back but this one seemed to have boot cosmetics if you look real close um i did like the style feels like firebird wizard or something bird style really like this one the second picture they showed is the uh, tombstone that would be the tombstone looks pretty good uh, or again with the um, the wings uh fits the theme of the Birdman 
cosmetic style so it looks pretty good but not a lot more than that it is not really colorful we don't see a lot of colors on the first screenshot but that's cool to have a second tombstone because we only have one right now uh as far as i know so back to the recap so new cosmetics voice chat they said we're gonna have voice chat in the squads that we know for the past two weeks at least skill reset people have been waiting for that for a long time and it's gonna be very good because some people are pretty mad they don't have access to a supercharger and they had to wait almost two months for a skill reset that's gonna be nice also we're gonna be able to farm uh the next ribbons for the skills that we don't have right now so it's pretty cool uh server switching so many people want to switch servers to play with their friends and since the start they talked about server switching they said it will come but it comes with, with a price you might have very high ping you might be teleporting to your friends if you play on the wrong server so we will see about that how it's gonna feel now new enemies also they said that cannot wait to see some sneak peek because i want to see i want to know more i mean it's cool We're gonna have new enemies of course if you release two new dungeons you cannot recycle the same bosses right we only have two bosses and we see them in dungeons and we we see them on the silver arena again so it's the same boss we fight for two months we need new enemies and new bosses next up is misc info so future weapons may have exclusive perks but they talk about future future weapons it's not in the 0.5 update notes but they say next update we get new dungeons new enemies new weapons new gear and new everything right so also they said new legendaries and also they said legendaries will rotate when we get new dungeons we get a rotation and that is very interesting and i want to know now where each legendary is going to be because right now i'm farming very hard trying to get nico before the rotation because if nico rotates and goes to pvp since i don't play much pvp or since other players say pvp drops are super rare uh, i want nico now so i'm farming very hard uh possible google play achievement integration some people have been asking for this uh the one question i see a lot is money cap are they gonna increase it they said last week yes but now it's more precise they added a number today at the very start of the mad stream they said 750k is gonna be the limit and in the patch notice it's not clear if 0.5 but i pr i think i heard like it's it's done it's like it's done so 750k for now uh people want more it's probably gonna be more later but i think i understand they don't want us to stack uh millions of credits because when the future updates arrive and we're gonna have stuff to buy they don't want some people to buy everything on day one and then have nothing to do right i kind of understand the reason so we'll see preset loadout so maybe we're gonna have different classes not always to have to switch between dungeons just switch the class so that's interesting also uh, i like the idea a way to increase inventory space i did talk about it today on stream look at that okay because it's not in the notes again they said trading is not gonna happen anytime soon okay they want the game to work as intended before they implement trading into the game and that i already like at the moment at the instant i heard that i said if you're not gonna give us trading now give us inventory space asap because it's inventories are clogged with cosmetics paints stickers and a lot of weapons you don't want to get rid of all your weapons so if we cannot start trading our duplicate cosmetics right now we don't want to get rid of them we don't want to just throw them away please give us more space and i said i'm ready to pay for it i already paid to get the the first 96 slots right because you start with 60. i'm ready to support the game give me uh give me inventory i will buy it okay anytime I don't know if everyone feels the same but that's how i feel uh friend messaging is something people ask for it's probably not coming now but you cannot just send a message to your friends if they're not online right it would be nice to do something like that in the guild also uh mixing of weapon parts uh trading will eventually come but they said not soon right that's what i remember uh, custom guild logos it would be nice if you can upload your logos then they approve it or not and then people can use their guild uh, stickers for example your guild logo on your stickers uh buyback option like if you sold something you could buy it back later 
and squad system might work like PlayStation party invites. So that is the recap. And like I said at the start of the video, I don't expect much more for the next update. That's what we're getting. So dungeons, new enemies, new weapons, new armor, new legendaries, rotation, but no training. Skill reset, yes, but uh, appearance reset and customization is not now. So the new area, the uh, massage uh, area is not going to happen now. Uh, gold arena is not going to happen now. So guys, leave me a comment below what you think about the upcoming update. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to have new dungeons. I do a lot of dungeons. PvE is my thing and playing with squad super fun. I feel the game is much smoother right now. It feels great. We did not disconnect again today, like I said. So I will also post the uh, link to the Reddit thread. If you guys want to leave your comments below on the Reddit, it's also uh, a nice place to be. It's not super big compared to the Facebook group. So feel free to join uh, the Reddit. Again, shout out to Kiddo for the hard work. Appreciate much. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, watch my other videos. I'll be back soon. Take care.